the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sunshine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of Welcome back. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a vlog style video. Um, we are kind of hanging out at home today. We did a little bit of schoolwork. I got myself showered, which was a miracle in itself, <laughs> and um, got myself ready a little bit. The kids are having a little bit of tablet time while Ingrid is napping, and then I've got to take the dog out to go to the bathroom because we got a dog, you guys, so I will introduce you in just a little bit, um, but we did get a little puppy. Her name is Sadie. She was rescued from an area in Tennessee where there is a lot of strays, and they bring them up here to Michigan and bring them to humane societies, and um, the puppies get adopted. So her and her siblings, there was like, I think five or six of them, and they all came up here together and got adopted from the humane society near where we live. So that's where we got her. <laughs> The cute looking puppies on the internet just won me over and now I'm like 
<sighs> there's another thing in the house that needs me. <laughs> we are gonna go to the apple orchard today with my grandma and my mom and my aunt. If you guys are not familiar, I live in Michigan, if you didn't know. And so Michigan, we get to experience all of the fun colors of fall. So I'm really excited to go to the apple orchard because it really is something that we look forward to in the area that we live in every year. Hey girlfriend, you wanna go outside and go potty? You wanna go outside and go potty? All right, come on love. Come on big girl. All right, sister pants. Come on. All right, come on. Let's go potty. Sadie. Hey big girl. Yeah, pretty girl. Look at that pretty girl. So when we first got her, she was pretty skinny, and um, she would hunt through the backyard for like bugs or anything she could find to eat. Um, and I think it was basically just because she was always scavenging for for food as a stray. And so <laughs> if she gets bored outside, she will start looking for slugs. So hopefully now that we've been feeding her all the time and she gets treats and all the things in the house, um, she'll get used to not having to scavenge for food. Hey, hey Sadie, hey big girl, can you say hi? I wanna put up a, um, an invisible fence in our backyard though. I'd like to get one up so that she can roam and have a little bit more room. Oh my. So she doesn't have to be on a leash all the time. Right? Maybe in the spring. Maybe in the spring. So we have had Miss Sadie for almost a month and um, you'll notice as she was eating, I was putting my hand inside of her dish. Um, so she was a stray for the first two and a half months of her life. And so um, when we first got her, she was always looking for food to eat on the floor. She was like, scavenging outside like I mentioned she was looking for bugs to eat and some of that is like normal puppy stuff but some of it is um, the fact that she was always looking for food when she was astray <laughs> she didn't have anybody taking care of her and so when she first started eating her food she was getting really territorial with it and so we've just been working on breaking that cycle with her and so one of us will usually put our hand in her dish when she eats and she's gotten really good at it now she doesn't even really care and so yeah we're just taking things one day at a time with little miss but she is really, really, um, she responds really well to correction. She submits really well, especially to John. My husband is really good with dogs. I am not, and so I'm trying to learn. Hey, you. She's pretty calm for a puppy, surprisingly. She is um, around 30 pounds, I believe, right now, a little under 30 pounds. And so they estimate her to be probably about 60 pounds. And so, hey. 
Hey, what'd you find? What'd you find? Yep, and this is what we're doing now. It's like I have another toddler in my house. It has been kind of a pain though because I feel like I can't leave her in a room by herself because if she's bored, she's gonna find something to do, right? And she's always looking. You're always looking for something to do, aren't you? All right, Fee, if it's nine o'clock, where's the little hand gonna go? Nine. To the nine, you're right, to the nine. So the little hand tells you what the hour is, right? And Gigi, how does that taste? Pretty good? Do you guys who have kids ever feel like it's a Christmas miracle if you can even leave the house? That's how I feel right now. Everyone is falling apart right now. Um, wipes. Oh, pumpkin pie. Oh, sugar. Look at these little hairs. She's got tiny little pigtails. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. Are you going to be two? <laughs> little Miss turns two next month. Me, I'm, I'm turning six next month. You're right. God gave you two arms and two eyes, so you should be able to look for them. Oh, yep. And lots of fingers so that we can pick our nose, right? Hi. Oh, hey, good looking. People are starting to fall apart. <laughs> um, John's not gonna be home tonight, so and when Dad's not home, that means Mom orders pizza. What? Are we trying to wean you right now? No. She got stung. Show them where you got stung. Show them your boo-boos. Oh, sister friend. Did you get stung by the bees? 
Yeah. There are so many bees at the apple orchard. They're everywhere, aren't they? I'm thinking a bee landed on her and she like tried moving it because she felt something on her face and it stung her. And she got stung good. She just started crying really hard. I felt so bad. All right, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. And then I'm going to pick up this disaster. Let's get real here for a minute, guys. Does your uh, kitchen ever look like this? No, it doesn't. Your kitchen never looks like this. Is this the last time I can see you in a while? Is it the truth that you believe in tonight? Take a walk and a swim in the sea That would mean everything, yeah, everything to me Can we get out of this one? Waiting and missing I never thought you would leave me here Alright guys, so I made this a couple days ago and it looks incredibly disgusting But it is so good It is, um a pumpkin puree, half and half, maple syrup and some spices, allspice and cinnamon. Mix this all together and I'm gonna add some milk to it. I'm gonna froth it up and add it to my espresso and drink it as a coffee. We can get out of this one A tunnel of feelings and Just like we got through everything else But I see you is delicious you guys I made the pumpkin puree stuff on a whim I had no idea what I was doing and I added maple because I figured maple with maple syrup would complement the pumpkin spice well we can get out of this one a tunnel of feelings and just like we got through everything else but I see you honey Good morning guys, this is the next day and I forgot to close the vlog out yesterday because I was so tired, I went to bed super early right after the kids went to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.